Hi, welcome to Pencil College. We're moving on to example 6 and 7 in chapter 9.2 of Circles. So in this example, we are asked to find, to write down to rather, the coordinates of the center and the radius of the following circle. So we will first explore using method 1, which of which we will be making use of formula number 2, as you can see on the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so let me just write out formula number 2 over here, and I'll write out the given equation side by side. Okay, so we can identify what is our F, our G, as well as our C. Okay, so this is formula number 2, and this equation I'm writing out now is the given equation. Okay, so over here we can identify 2g to be negative 2, so g is just negative 1, and 2f is negative 6, so f is just negative 3, and finally c is 1, and don't forget c is given as g square plus f square minus r square, as you can see on the top of the screen. So this is 1 is equal to g square plus f square minus r square. So simply speaking, r square is just g square plus f square minus 1, and substituting in our values for g and f, okay, I will then be able to solve for r. Okay, so maybe I solve for I'll solve for my r square first. So r square is just 3 square, and therefore r is just 3. Okay, so to find the center of the circle, so go back to formula number 2, the center is given as negative g and negative f. So this is just 1, 3. Okay, and r, which is the radius, okay, the radius is just 3. Okay, so that's method number 1 using the formula number 2, as you can see. Okay, so let's move on to explore method number two. Okay, and method number two involves completing the square. Okay, so to use method number two, we will first write out the equation in the given equation in a certain manner. So you see that I'm rearranging some of the terms. Okay, the, the one that you see over here, I'm shifting it over to the right hand side of the equation. Okay, so let's perform completing the square for x squared minus 2x first. So x squared minus 2x can be written in this form. So x squared minus 2x plus 2 over 2 square minus 2 over 2 square. Okay. And whereas y squared minus 6y, okay, can be written in this form. y squared minus 6y plus 6 over 2 square minus 6 over 2 square. Okay. Okay, if you're unsure what I'm doing over here, basically I'm completing the square. So if you have forgotten how to do that, please check out our videos on completing the square. Okay, so for this first three terms that you see over here, it is in the form a square minus 2ab plus b square. So I can easily write this as x minus 1 square. Okay, and negative 2 over 2, so whole thing square is just negative 1. Okay, let's move on to evaluate for the terms for y. So the first three terms for y can be written in this form. Okay. y minus 3 square. Okay, and this term over here is just minus 3 square. Okay, and that gives me negative 1. So I will leave, I will leave this two terms on the left hand side of the equation whereas the negative 1 and the negative 3 square I will port it over to the right hand side of the equation so I'll get this okay and so and you know just simplifying this equation I will get to a form that we are pretty familiar with so if you stare at this this final equation that I've gotten here okay you realize that this is in the form of the first equation, okay, where the center is a, b. So let us identify our a, which is 1, b is 3. So this is my a, this is my b, and my r is 3, okay, and therefore the center of the circle is given as a, b, which is just 1, 3, and the radius is given as r, which is just 3. 
Okay, so that's all for example number six. Okay, moving on, let's look at example number seven. Okay, so we will evaluate the radius and the circle, uh, sorry, and the center of the following circle by using formula number two. Okay, as you can see on the top of the screen. So first and foremost, let me write out formula number two side by side so you can see very clearly, okay, what, what is that that I'm looking for. Okay, so this goes like this. And at this point in time, let us observe that negative 16 is equivalent to 2g. Okay, so therefore g is just negative 8. And also, negative 12 is equivalent to 2f, and therefore f is just negative 6. Okay. Okay, finally, c is 75, and 75, okay, and rather c is given by the formula to be g square plus f square minus r, 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 r square. Okay, so you can see at the top of the screen, c is just g square plus f square minus r square. So solving this, okay, so let me just shift the terms around. So negative r square, I shift to the left, and uh, my 75, I'll shift it to the right. So at this point in time, let me substitute in the values for g and f. So this is just... Okay, and working this out, I'll have 25, which is just 5 squared. Okay, so if r squared is 5 squared, then r has got to be 5. Okay, so at this point in time, let me just write out the center. The center of circle is given as negative g, negative f, okay, which is just 8, 6. Okay, because g is negative 8 and f is negative 6. Okay, how about the radius? The radius is given as r, which is just 5. Well done, guys. We have just came, come to the end of this chapter on circles. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. See you.